it is an awesome Monday yes. because in the studio right now, mm -hmm. the boys from Placebo. Hey, <laughs> welcome down, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks. Am I really on the X Factor? <laughs> <laughs> well, the reason we call ourselves the X Factor is we used to date. We yeah. are actually. So there's an X ah, e okay. in front of the X. So we'll play. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. So. We'll play on that. Do you guys have the X Factor over here? The TV show? No, we don't. No, it's no. good. No, no. Yeah. No. Yeah. We watch the U.S. one a lot. So, okay. And the U.K. one. Mm -hmm. So of course. Yes, see. Oh, no, you're, you're one of the lucky ones that haven't been plagued by that yet. So <laughs> they don't call it the X Factor, we just call it the work of Satan. <laughs> ouch, ouch. Of course, in the studio right now are Brian Molko as well as Steve Forrest uh, of Placebo. Guys, welcome to Singapore, first of all. Welcome Thank back. Thank you very much. Thanks. I uh, think uh, Steve's second time and Brian's fourth time, you mentioned. Something like that, okay. yeah. Lost count. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, it was the 90s. Okay. I don't really remember the 90s. <laughs> I don't yeah. even remember what I did yesterday, much less the 90s. Exactly. Right. I know there's one thing, though, like, I mean, when that song was playing, and you guys were talking about, you know, how you guys play it live uh, on stage, it, it is, I mean, obviously there is something different, but how does it feel, first of all, for you guys, when you hear your song, like, on the radio, on the record? Do you guys, like, still, like, you know, like, jam to it? <laughs> yeah. He it does. Uh, I, I get really excited when I hear it on the radio. Yeah. And I, I still get it's something that uh, hasn't really quite left me yet. Mm -hmm. I still get quite giddy about, you know, hearing yourself on the radio. It's still quite exciting, you know. Very cool, very cool. Keeps them grounded, I guess. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, so how have we been treating you so far? Hmm. Singapore. Marvelous, thank very you. Very well, <laughs> yes. What, did you try any of our food again? Or did you try something different this time? <laughs> a lot of different things. I have a tendency to go quiet when people ask me about food. About food? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm. yeah. All right. Uh, Steve, anything? Um, I, I haven't been out of the, I haven't been out the hotel yet, so no, not, oh, not really. Oh, we've, been, we've been sort of uh, doing promo all day, so I haven't gotten a chance to. Not yet. Okay. The, li the life of a rock star. <laughs> the life of a rock star. Uh, so, uh, what are you guys planning for us tomorrow then? Oh, uh, lots of noise. <laughs> uh, you know, some. You know, energy. Okay. Uh, it's yeah, it's gonna be loud. Okay. I mean, yeah. I can expect loud. You know, talking about listening to a song on the record and then seeing placebo live. I mean, obviously there's a difference, but you know, what sort of a difference is that? Well, it's usually quite a bit faster, mm -hmm. sweatier, um, <laughs> and. Uh, I'm kind of a little bit more discordant, I suppose. Right. Yeah. But we have a tendency to. Um, we don't really play too many songs like they are on the record. Okay. Um, for many different reasons. Right, right. Sometimes songs take on a life of their own as you as you tour them, and uh, you wish that the song that you end up playing at the end of the tour was the one that you were able to record. <laughs> right, right. But uh, that doesn't always happen. And sometimes we have to sort of rewrite them mm. in order in order to keep them alive oh. because we get really really quite bored with the original <laughs> versions. <laughs> <Gotta keep it laughs> interesting. Yeah, right. yeah. But isn't that what music's all about? I mean, it is a living thing. Something yes. that changes, evolves. I well, guess. yeah. Well, I think a, a good song can be played in many different, you know, sort of styles mm -hmm. or, or forms. I mean, for me, essentially, if you can kind of strip it back to just one instrument and a voice, that's a, you know, then that's a sign of a really, really good song. But right. if you could also rewrite your own song, mm -hmm. then that, you know, it, it has something to it. Then there you go. You know? uh, so, okay, if I've never been to a placebo concert before, what can I expect from, you know, a live show? Uh, noise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, exactly. Yeah, we have we have fun up there. You know, we we rock out and you know just have a good time. I mean, each gig each gig is, is sort of different. You know, it depends on on the audience as well. You know, how much the audience gives back to us and we kind of meet in the middle. That's where the kind of magic happens, mm -hmm. and that's where the sort of the gigs you know s you know stand apart from from one another. And that's you know, so it's can't can't really say oh, expect this something special. Right. It's kind of like well you got to be there and we'll see what happens. You know, you in the moment. In the studio with three people. People. On stage, we're six. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. There you go. Okay, well, speaking so of loud. You know, double your fun. Double, double, your, double your members. Double your fun. Looking forward to it. Uh, more from Placebo in just a bit. We're going to. Speaking of loud mm -hmm. and music, uh, Loud Like Love is yep. the latest album. We'll talk more of that. And fans. Yeah. Fans. Oh, yes. We'll find out the difference between, uh, I guess, fans here in Asia and mm. fans uh, in Europe, perhaps. Plus, we want to hook you up with those uh, pairs of tickets to the concert tomorrow, plus me and Greet Passes as well. Tell you how in just a bit. The X Factor with Mr. Young and Jackie on Power 98.
the new Power 98 Love Life, Love Music, Placebo, TMF, Too Many Friends. Hey, how you doing? It is Mr. Young and Jackie with you uh, on The X Factor. And the thing is, you know, we hear their songs on the radio, mm -hmm. but we have them in the studio right now. Though. I know, how cool <laughs> is that? Uh, Brian and Steve from Placebo in the studio right now. Uh, that's how we are. <laughs> <laughs> Taking off their album, uh, Loud Like uh, Love. Mm -hmm. That's coming out really soon, by the way. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about the album, by the way? <laughs> I think they can. I think yes. it's, it's rather good, right? Okay. Yes. Very modest there. Yeah. <laughs> We've outdone ourselves this time. <laughs> um, what would you like to know? Everything. Everything about the album. It was Where recorded in London. Okay. okay. It has ten songs on it. Okay. Um, it's produced by Adam Noble. Okay, what inspired... It features and hammered dulcimer. Features and hammered dulcimer, yeah. Yeah. Well, what inspired the album? Ooh... 20 years. <laughs> 20 That's years more than you get for murder. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, in Singapore, maybe more. Um, uh, I don't know, it's just... Uh, yeah, 20 years. You're excited. That's also a song that we had. <laughs> ages ago, but not that song specifically. Are you the most the excited? period of time. Are you the most excited about this album? Uh, yeah, well, right now, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, have, I have felt like this before. Mm. Okay. But right. I feel a little better now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that, good. Uh, that song in particular, that one's a little bit about social media, isn't it? Well, not, I suppose, mm. in a way, but it's kind of more about people, right. or a person in particular, mm -hmm. and uh, a kind of a new kind of social isolation, right. really. It just, you know, the person who inhabits this song mm -hmm. um, still feels very, very disconnected. Yes. Even though, um, as these enormous yeah. uh, corporations would have us believe, we are more inter interconnected mm -hmm. than we ever were. Right. Uh, and um, so it's a little small story about that. Mm -hmm. And I suppose it asks a couple of questions as to whether we are more connected than we were before. Right. And, you... and, and what is the nature of friendship in the 21st century? Mm. And, how many, and how many real friends do you actually have? That is true. And, wow. and, and you know, all that, those dimensions. That is such yeah. a real question, especially in this day and age where it's Twitter, Facebook. Hey, I have 4,000 friends on Facebook. Well, how many friends do you really have? Right. Mm. You know? Yeah. Uh, I said, someone yeah. actually... And do you on... need that many friends to, exactly. for, you know... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do yeah, you right? really? Or sure. like, and... and is having that many friends, what effect does that have on your self-esteem? Mm. And how real is that effect? Right. Yeah, like yeah. how does that change you? Right. Hey, uh, finally, uh, someone on Twitter just uh, dropped us a message saying, Hug Steve for me from Anna Fernandez. So Anna Fernandez wants a hug. <laughs> So, you Jackie, go so who, we'll, we'll all who's going to hug Steve? We'll all hug Steve. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Does there. that objectify you in any way, Steve? Do you feel like, you feel like an object right now? Like an object? Yeah. Mm, no, I, I don't I would feel a bit objectified. A little bit? Really? Yeah. If I, was in I, don't, I come from the right. land where people hug, though. I come from California. Yeah. Everybody hugs in California. Oh, okay. Hug life. Hug life. Yeah. Yeah. Hugs, not drugs. <laughs> sharing, sharing is caring. Spreading yeah. the love. All right. Uh, you guys performing tomorrow uh, evening at the Coliseum. Team Hard Rock Hotel Resorts Will Sentosa. By the way, you can still get tickets. Mm -hmm. uh, there are very few left. Go to cystic.com.sg. They range from $88 to $148. Okay, so speaking it's of worth which... every penny. <laughs> yes. I promise. Uh, what, what are the difference between um, Singapore fans and fans from around the world, like in the States and in London? Well, you know, when people come come together to a placebo show, there's a certain kind of feeling of, of unity, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, I think uh, there's a there's a real kind of family sort of vibe at all of our shows. I mean, most you know, most of the time, wherever we are, the audiences are, are extremely demonstrative <laughs> and uh, you know, and generous. Right. So. You know, but that happens here too. Very cool. Uh, anything you want to say to your fans right here in Singapore? Before right we now. see before we yeah, see, before we see you at the <laughs> <laughs> What do you want to say, Steve? Um well, I, I'm intrigued at, like, you know, how come you guys ended up... Well, how, what's the whole setup then? <laughs> you know? Because, yeah, because, like, yeah. how long are you together? Five, Five years. And then how long ago did you split up? Two years. And were you working together when you first got together? No. No, and then you got together, and then... I mean, okay. And what yeah. precipitated the breakup? This is a long, sordid story. <laughs> oh, come on, we've got time. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get into it yeah. there, maybe. It's a little bit later on. Uh, but, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, uh, yeah, anything do you want to say to your fans over here in Singapore before you perform for us live tomorrow? Mm. 
but we'll do our best not to disappoint. Well said. Well said. There you have it. Guys, Placebo, remember, go get your tickets right now. Cystic.com.sg is happening tomorrow evening at the Coliseum. And uh, in just a little while, by the way, we will be hooking you up with some tickets as well as meet and greet passes. Uh, stick around for that. In the meantime, though, guys, thank you so thank much, you for, so being much for being here. Thanks for having us. Thanks. Thanks.